Good Tuesday morning everyone. We are starting out with morning rain showers and temperatures into the upper 40s, but today's weather story is what happens this afternoon. We'll get a midday break from the rain, so late morning, early afternoon, we'll have quiet weather, but we'll watch for redevelopment of showers and thunderstorms mainly after 3 p.m. and we're looking at a window from 3 p.m. to 9 this evening for the chance for some severe storms to develop. Hail and damaging winds would be the greater risk if we see some of those stronger storms developing. So here's what we're looking at outside right now. Again, no threat for severe weather this morning. We'll put this in motion for you and watch how the rain's just really filled in from south to north over the last few hours where you see the pockets of yellow. That's some heavier rainfall here through Bad Axe and Harbor Beach over to Oscoda and Tawas West Branch into Houghton Lake seeing some of those heavier showers. Lighter colors of green indicate some lighter rainfall through Owasso and Corona and into Flint and right now up here has a little bit of a break, but that will be short lived as more rain is on the way. So temperatures are sitting into the mid to upper 40s, a mild start, a comfortable start for us, and we'll see these temperatures shooting into the 60s as we head into the afternoon. That's good and bad news. Good news because, of course, we want the warmth. We've been below average for the last few days. Bad news is that warmth will eventually lead to some of those stronger storms. And the Storm Prediction Center out of Norman, Oklahoma, they're the guys and gals that issue severe thunderstorm and tornado watches. They also issue outlooks for severe weather, and today's outlook does highlight most of mid-Michigan, the NBC 25 viewing area, and the slight chance to see some severe weather. Notice that's at the bottom of the scale here, which that's fine for us, but even in slight risks, tornadoes can occur. And while I'm not expecting tornadoes to be the biggest threat today, there is still a slight chance for that. The bigger risk will be the wind and the hail. I think some of us may see some wind gusts possibly as high as 60 miles per hour, and we're also looking for a quarter size hail as we go into the afternoon. So not a huge widespread threat, but it is a threat nonetheless. So there are multiple ways that you can keep you and your family safe as these storms develop this afternoon. Follow us on air. Of course, we'll be tracking any severe weather and posting those alerts onto our website as well at MyNBCNews.com. And if you haven't downloaded our free mobile app, go ahead and do so. It's free and we push the alerts right to you if your county is put under that warning. So again, MyNBCNews.com or you can head out and get that mobile app on your smartphone. So the reason why we're seeing the severe weather, remember yesterday we talked about this area of low pressure. It's not moving and it is not going anywhere. And as long as we are to the east of it, we're going to be on the warmer side, which favors rain, thunderstorms, and even that chance for severe weather. So today's setup is a warm front is just to our south and north of that warm front is where we're seeing all the scattered showers this morning. That warm front will move even farther north as we go into the afternoon. It is not the reason why we will see severe weather. What will kick off the severe weather is a cold front that's to the south of this area of low pressure. That will spiral to the north and east as we head into the afternoon, and that is what's going to set the stage to see those stronger storms developing again with some hail and gusty winds. So here's the morning rain showers noticed by noon as we put this in motion. And most of that's going to stay out towards north of the Saginaw Bay. So from noon to two is when we'll start to see things really clearing out, but from four to eight, watch what happens. Redevelopment over southwest lower Michigan, and that's the cold front moving in and embedded in this area of rainfall will be a few isolated strong storms. I'm not expecting every county in the viewing area to be put under a warning today, but some of us will be. So definitely keep it with us throughout the day and throughout the evening. Chief Meteorologist Ty Shesky, he'll be here at 6 and 11 covering it for you. I'm back early tomorrow morning, but the threat for tomorrow morning is not going to be severe weather. It's going to be more rain, so we may see a similar setup tomorrow morning to what we've been seeing out there today. So to recap, upper 60s today, strong to severe thunderstorm chances pick up after 4 p.m. And as we look ahead through the rest of the seven day period, we stay warm Wednesday, but cooler air does move in Thursday into Friday and temperatures will drop back into the low 50s, which is a little bit below our average for this time of year. But notice your rain chances are not going anywhere until Monday of next week. We might finally start to dry out then.